not only did the freshly released Spellforce Free Fallen God expansion just add a new faction, the Trolls, to the hero focused RTS, but ranked mode is now here. This would already tick the boxes for a competitive RTS, considering the game already had a spectator mode, replays, and match saving slash loading slash restoring. But in addition to all this, the game is also free to start now. The Versus edition of the game unlocks one of the original races, so either humans, orcs, or elves randomly. I highly recommend it, link is in the description. I think this is the perfect foundation for esports grassroots to be viable. I will be running a tournament to put this theory to the test. The top 8 ranked and willing players will be invited and will compete over a prize pool of $50 in a single elimination bracket. Details linked in the description. One of the top players called Ra provided me with a replay of him playing against another top player, Victor. Let's get a preview of what we are in for. Okay everyone, welcome to Grey Keep Gardens. In the green, we have the very mean Ra playing as the trolls and on the other side in the blue uh i don't really have any clue what rhyme to use this is victor playing the elves uh going druid first so uh the druid is like a mage character everyone and uh basically it's got several of these aoe spells uh it's got the Ellen's Fire, which has been picked, and some extra focus, aka mana, has been picked. So it's a pretty standard uh, combat pick for these abilities. In the main base, we're seeing a Woodcutter. We are seeing a Hunting Cabin, so it's super standard so far. Two, two more Woodcutters up north. Take a look at Ra's build. Uh, so from him, we've got a Playbrenner. Where is it? Show yourself. Okay, it's already creeping, trying to expand, cleaning up everything. Uh, the Playbrenner, well, it, the name is very apt, right? So it's got the Gift of Weakening and the Gift of Power uh, spell lores, and it's unlocked a Plague Bolt so far, uh, which is just a simple missile. Uh, that costs some mana and there's also the plague disease which casts a uh, Affliction on enemies so it does some damage reduces their resistances And we also got the feast on disease which basically combos together with all of these disease spells uh, You are able to leech health from enemies anyway Let's take a look at what's being upgraded here uh, not this sector not that sector i think he's trying to just push forward to uh oh my god so talkative so talkative these characters anyway getting that forward section killing additional creeps both players are creeping at roughly the same speed and our album player victor is already in the middle here uh but so is Ross, so he's got to watch out there. There's a lot of troll buildings, by the way. Just want to point that out. Because the troll buildings only have one worker each. So in case you guys didn't know that, that is their shtick. Ooh, that uh, Plague Bearer is getting really low. Potions will need to be used. Let's take a quick look at Victor's uh, potions. Five versus four. So he is a potion ahead, but that Druid is also getting a little bit low. Uh, sitting in his own fire is not going to damage it, but it's also not going to damage the enemies. The eye banner could be taken down before it gets upgraded into the actual base. Oh my god, that combo barely survived it. Uh, got the the healing in a last second there. So the potion count is now even. As for the party XP, oh my god, so low again. <laughs> Those smashers are really doing him in. It looks like Victor has to retreat and probably a good idea to, you know, go back and creep some. Uh, it looks like he's cleaned up one of the creeps back here. Yeah, there's, there's nothing here. What's going on? What happened there? There's always a creep here, right? No, no, actually there is not. Sorry, my bad. I, I got confused about that. 
Anyways, we've got a godstone connection from both players to the main, so they're always able to teleport back there. But also, you gotta keep in mind that all of the heroes are equipped with the uh, Stone of Homecoming. For those of you new to the game, uh, that is basically just a teleportation skill for free on cooldown. You could also sell it. <laughs> Looks like his outpost flag is gonna get smashed by the smashers. No, that's smashing right there, but one of them died. Uh, I, I wonder if if Ra picked up one of those abilities that allow him to consume the corpses. Uh, it looks like, no, he's went for concentration, which reduces the ability cooldowns. Very interesting. Uh, so, so I guess he just wants to spam the Plague Bolt and the Plague Disease and the Feast on Disease spells. So that way he can keep his hero alive, I guess, and just do a lot of damage overall. I banner has not been upgraded here or here or here. Actually, it's only upgraded the safest position thus far. But another scrap horde is being made. The scrap is the unique resource for the trolls. So that's being used later. Uh, f first, it's going to be used to upgrade the heart of the tribe, I think. But after that, it's going to be used to upgrade the smashers into range units called the throwers. Now, uh, the way the trolls upgrade their units is basically... You have a unique building for it, right? And you park your low tier units such as the smashers there. Then you can turn them into a thrower or uh, a different unit. If you're uh, going the melee route. Actually, forgot their name. I haven't played too many troll games yet. Uh, and anyways, there's a ranged and a melee path. And there's uh, also some uh, casting units. As for the elves, they traditionally speaking, they don't do much in the first technology tier. They're, however, going to be very, very powerful once they reach tech 2. Uh, it's, we're still in the lower sanctum stage, so the sanctum upgrade is not underway. And guardians are being made rallied into the godstone. They're going to pop out from the other one. Also, to those of you completely new to the game, uh, the elves have a, a, an extra resource called the Lenya. So that's basically going to be the equivalent of scrap. It's going to be used for elite units in the late game. It's very much a tier 3 resource, however. Uh, the map also has some more advanced creeps, such as the skellies over here. These are really tough, so strong. They cannot be affected by any weakening spells, so that's really bad news for our Plague Bringer here. <laughs> Uh, there's additional humans on the edges, but the problem with that is that you have to go back to your main and then get out of the way. Uh, that, that, there's teleportation required simply to do that. Okay, there's a lot of smashers now. We've gone up to, what is that, six smashers? I think Ra is actually six smashers, yes. Let's go for these bases real quick. Lots of street chopper. Three choppers and stone breakers have been made. Stone breakers are going to be required in order to uh, upgrade flags to the eye of the tribe. It's actually very, very different from the other races. Most of them don't require any stone for that, but uh, the trolls do. The benefit of the trolls, I suppose, would be that. Oh, well, that's a nice amount of pickups he got there. The benefit of trolls is that when you make a fight hut, it actually does not require a worker. So, you can just keep making your smashers from both of the main building, the Heart of the Tribe, and the Fight Huts. You can make as many Fight Huts as you can afford. It's cool. Ah, some level upping has happened. Zero healing potions available for our, uh, our Alvin player, Victor, here. Uh, what has he unlocked? It looks like just focus and concentration. There's nothing crazy happening here as well. For Ra, it's more uh, focus and more concentration as well. So it's just basic spells being spammed by both players. There was a teleport here, and we're in the middle of a fight that I almost completely missed. It looks like uh, the Smashers should be able to do this hero in. There's no uh, teleportation. There's no... Oh my god, gets the kill. That was huge. Smasher getting really low. Sun's getting real low, big guy. Yeah. I think this one will go down, but uh, it looks like Ra Ra's finally unlocked the spell that gives him the shields. Uh, so the way that works is you cast it basically on a 
uh, on a corpse and it applies it to the allies for like 10 seconds. I think it's... Uh, it's this one, yeah. So it's 330 points of damage are being absorbed for 10 seconds. Uh, the Shrine of Growth is being repaired. That does cost resources, by the way, for Victor. He's certainly not loving this. But it, it will mean that I think this base should survive. The hero is also back. Now bear in mind, the higher level your hero is, the longer the respawn will take from the Godstone. Uh, which, by the way, is all the way back here. So uh, it, it took a moment to arrive as well. A lot of damage has been done. A lot of these workers have been killed. But then again, Spellforce workers, they replenish for free. They're generated for free. Uh, killing them, though, does mean that you lose out on income. So th these little pressure plays do mean something. That's a dead flag right there. Two smashes from all these smashers. Once again, they've done a smashing job. Scrap! He's getting scrapped. It's a lot of scrap he's getting, actually. Is it just one scrap order? Hold on, where is the... Where's your building, buddy? Uh, <laughs> where is it? Tribe shelter. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say. The trolls actually have to construct tribe shelters in order to increase their population. It's nothing unheard of. It's very standard across different RTS games. I can't for the life of me see where the scrapper has been made from. Can you make one from the fight hut? You can't, right? No. Uh, where is the... There's a throwing camp now, so the smasher is finally going to be upgraded to a thrower. We're going to see what happens with that. And there's a bit of pressure going on, but this is already a Shrine of Growth 2. That's a tier 2 expansion here. Bleeding is going to be applied from this fire spell. And it looks like one of the smashers will die, but throwers have arrived. The basic range unit of the trolls, and it's looking like all of these... Uh, Basic infantry units of our album player are gonna get smashed and thrown. <laughs> What's being made here? Wardens! Okay, so that's an iron unit. Uh, in order to make these higher tier units, the album player has to make. I oh my god! Another hero kill. That is absolutely devastating for Victor. He might just lose this base. That's too many smashers and throwers. Anyway, as I was saying, Wardens, they require the iron uh, mine buildings to be made. There's one here. There's three iron mines in this area right now. And uh, you can see these buildings have some unassigned workers in order to be able to populate the iron mines. Uh, that will facilitate the tier 2 army composition for an Elven player. There's two groves trying to pump the Wardens. They're really high DPS range units uh, with a fairly chunky health pool as well. We'll, we'll see how they do. Uh, usually you'll have to add a bunch of the other range units to them. And up here we're seeing some creeping now that Ra has gotten ahead. He might as well just go and creep. There's, there's really nothing threatening that could happen to him. Th these eye of, eyes of the tribe have 6,000 hit points. Uh, by the time he clears out these human creeps, he'll be able to just teleport back. It's cool. And meanwhile, his hero level. Let's look at his hero level. We're, we're looking at level 4 for Victor. And we're already at level 5 for Ra. So that means that he gets to unlock an extra set of stuff here. Uh, what has he gotten? He's gotten Brute Force. And that's it. <laughs> that's all he's done. He's, he's further upgraded something, I think. Did he get this? No, it's just available. He's got the points. He's not spending them. What's going on? Two points are being saved. Is he just not doing it? I think he might be doing this on purpose, but let's see. Technically, nothing should be locked at this point. Uh, he's going after the Storm... Vyvern, one of the stronger creeps in the game. It's got 9,000 hit points. It can deal some splash damage with the ability. Oh my god, everyone gets hit by the lightning. And I think one of the smashers might actually die, but good pullback micro saves it. Uh, gets, gets the kill, gets the ring. What is that ring? Let's see. 
It's 250 health, so it's not too bad, but uh, generally speaking, getting the resistance ones is better because they can give up to like 10% resistance each value. So it's a high health pool like he's about to get, that is generally better than just 250 health. More scrap is being collected. What's the population count right now? Like, we got 32 population for our elven player. Oh my goodness. Uh, farm. He has to farm. Does he have to farm, though? I'm not sure why he's going for farms. Is it that much better? It, it's costly as well, right? Like, uh, actually, it's the same cost as a hunting cabin. Okay. I, I'm just a little bit confused that he's not getting a uh, hunting cabin. Don't know. This is... I'm, I'm pretty confident that the farm scatter is lower. Oh no, the Shrine of Growth is in trouble. It's upgrading. Are we going to see a teleport from our Avon player? It looks like uh, he was already nearby. Oh no, actually he did teleport. My bad. There's a lot of Wardens, so they are going to be able to take on these Smashers fairly easily. Shrine of Growth uh, has upgraded and is repairing now. All of these trolls are suffering from... The ill effects of sitting in the fire, they're bleeding. Uh, bleeding causes them to lose 15 hit points per second, but they're still gonna smash that base! And that druid is getting surrounded, oh no! Oh man, he does get the kill on the other hero, but all the wardens are exposed now, and they need a meat shield. They, they need some kind of buffs on them. This is not working out. They, this is also no longer Avon territory, so they don't even get the regeneration uh, when you're in your own territory. This could be still a hold, and more smashers are being killed. There's the protectors, finally. That's the tankiness that the elves need. Perfect timing for it, or is it? <laughs> it looks like he's dying. Really not perfect timing. The iron mines are being devastated. That's the source of income that's so desperately needed right now. Where is the hero? Is it coming back or what? 87%. Like I said, the higher level the hero is, the longer it takes for it to come back. Um, it's being remade. Where? Alright, Playbringer is here. And we've got a bunch of smashers that are idle. And he's going to be buying some stuff. Weird that he has never even equipped that. Finally equipped the ring. That would have been useful earlier. He's selling his original item. So he's getting a... What was that? What? I, I could swear he bought a ring. Am I... He, did he not in the end? Oh well. Let's see from Ra's perspective what he's doing. We still got half the game ahead of us, so it, it's gonna be a pretty long one, it seems. Looks like extra stuff is being built for resources. Uh, he's also starting to make his flying units, the uh, Iron Beaks. What they can do is, I'm pretty sure they they can blind enemies. Uh, let me let me double check that actually. Fight hot. Let me to select Ra for this. No, it, it it's got some ability. How can we see it? Oh yeah, there it is. Blinding cloud. Self-targeted area of attack. Uh, area of effect. Reduces the attack range of surrounding enemies for a short duration. Okay, it can stop them from attacking, basically, uh, at a long range. Which is really useful against the elves, because they all have mostly ranged units. Victor is trying to catch up in the experience game. And, you know, if you can go up here, there is one more big human group. But he'll have to kill his own Vyvern, which is located here. Level 6 now. Let's take a look at those spells. Kinetic Blast has been upgraded to level 2. 
I'm pretty sure that has a knockback capability. No, it's an interrupt. It's got it's got no knockback, but it can it can stop animations uh, during casting. And then he's got Ellen's Wrath, which uh, combines with Ellen Fire. Ellen's Fire. By, by the way, that fire, it not only does bleeding, but it does an effect that's just an affliction and doesn't have any ill effects. But when you combine it with Ellen's Wrath, uh, you also deal extra 120 damage. So, you know, in an area where you mark an entire army with Ellen's Fire, that can do a lot of damage, especially if you scale it up with your uh, damage dealing spell Brute Force. Uh, in addition to that, uh, Trian's Grasp also does that so if you have both of those ailments on the units uh, you will deal both of those 120 damages and then if your allies have nature's gift that heals them for 120 health that's a massive heal guys yes. wait did he change clothes oh oh <laughs> the creep jacked it's jacked. Ra's getting it. Th there's nothing in it for for Victor. That that's unfortunate, man. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, they're teleporting out insult to injury. No way. That's a lot of wardens, though. So they can't completely ignore this. Anyways, uh, I was gonna say. Let's take a look at Victor's items. It looks like he's got the uh, heart of the bear item here which is a pretty nice one for tanking in general big fight going down though that farm is toast like it's gonna take one punch oh there's the Ellen's fire and uh, Ellen's Ellen's wrath combo and you could just keep spamming that technically these guys are so stacked up all of them are going to take the splash damage, but the Warden numbers are dropping rapidly. Shrine of Grove is still pretty healthy, but with all of these units being so low and being focused by the remaining Wardens as well as the Ballistas, uh, which, by the way, are really expensive units that have to be made in separate buildings. They, they're helping a ton, but the Druid is not a tank. You cannot stand in front of Smashers that need to be uh, protectors that do that job, really. Of course, the defender's advantage really favors our Avon player here, Victor. And it looks like Ra is gonna have to retreat. And he's gonna do so by the skin of his teeth. He's got a bunch of flesh eaters, by the way. I am pretty sure they're able to consume the dead. Yes. So, what happens with that? Uh, oh my god, he's also got the highest level unit, I think. Skull Crusher. Is that the highest level? Wait, I think it I think it's not the highest level. Hold on a second. I'm still new to this. <laughs> Vorbringer, that's it. That's it. That's the champion unit. Okay, never mind. That's like a tier one. Okay, let's let's say the smashers are at tier zero, then these guys are the flesh eaters are tier one, and the skull crushers would be tier two. That's basically what's happening here. Um as for the the eating uh, where you where you can get blood power you basically consume a corpse and you keep stacking these blood power charges if you get 10 you may sacrifice your warrior in order to, to summon the Titan unit of the trolls uh, what was it called again chosen by Mo uh, Mogwa's cup that's it that's it the baby version of their god. So you gather 10 blood stacks. And, and then you sacrifice a unit and pay an obscene amount of resources in order to get that. Looks like he's he might be preparing for that. The offerings resource which is generated by a separate building is being generated. So eventually we might be seeing that. Uh, especially as there's a lot left from this replay. But these units on the front line are falling fast due to the Vombo combos by Victor, which are absolutely excellent. It's really difficult to push into an Elven player like this. Like, not only are they going to have a ton of uh, firepower in general, it looks like they are buffed. It, it, it looks like it's the uh, Ellen's Boon thing. 
from the druids. Gonna help a lot by healing these units up. We're here to protect. 20 health per second heal. That's absolutely mad. Of course, when, when it comes to titans, the elves can have one as well. But it's gonna be pretty expensive. I don't know about the... Oh, there it is. 75 Lenya. Yeah, we're gonna be <laughs> waiting for that for a while. Uh, free iron mines again. Yeah, you can definitely see that there's just not enough iron production. Uh, what happened here is... Oh, actually items are being bought. What's going on? What are we buying? That's a ring. 5% block chance. Okay. I don't know if that's, strictly speaking, better than resistance, but I guess it's similar, right? Like, if you get 10%, 5% resistance, so you get 5% block chance, that should be the same thing. Well, I'm not sure how that interacts with melee. Oh, we're get, we got a bunch of upgrading units here. It looks like... The UI doesn't show because I'm kicking on the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, bone hexers are gonna be made here. Did they get cancelled? Hold up. They got cancelled. Lots of scrap. Oh my god, the look at the resource abundance. That's insane. Is he actually going to consider making this? He, he only needs 150 scrap and 500 uh, of the offerings. So it doesn't require the core resources to be, you know, uh, lost for that. Alvin attack looks scary. Victor has a very similar amount of population though overall. Uh, doesn't Neither player really seems to be spamming units too much. Um, definitely could afford some of the more basic units with food and vet costs. Looks like we're looking at the base rate here. The Shrine of Growth is going to survive though. It's being upgraded as well to a level 3 version. So tier 3. Yeah, that's where the Druids came from. They are tier 3. I'm curious whether we'll be seeing some flying units like Phoenixes. Lenya Harvesters are coming in. And the Arcane Smithies are upgrading the Warden Enchanted Spears. Uh, which is just basically more damage. It's nothing too crazy. See what other upgrades are available here. Something else has been upgraded. Uh, I am pretty sure it's for... For one of the range units, maybe the. Uh, I'm not sure what has been upgraded here. Ooh, that's nice. That's that's a really nice skill. Taking out all these buildings with that center uh, being destroyed, that was huge. And all of those buildings will be destroyed as well. That all will add to the experience, or not. It actually doesn't. I actually don't think that adds anything. Oh, I, I was so sure it did, but no. Anyway, guys, excuse my poor casting skills, my poor game knowledge. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm learning the game as we go. I honestly don't even know most of the English. It's totally shrine to Magwas. <laughs> He really wants a titan. Man, Ra is not holding back. He's got 161 population now, so that unit spam has in fact begun. Uh, where is his stuff? He's upgrading some units here. He's got bone hexers now. They're uh, pretty, pretty good. They've got 85 pure and magical damage, so... It's like dealing two attacks as far as I'm aware. Got a little push here. Sharp Eye of the Tribe at risk. Probably gonna be looking at a teleport from Ra. 
Yep. There's a warning for it. And... I'm not sure that's actually enough units. Like, Victor also hasn't been slacking and has 150 population. And these are uh, pretty good Elven units with, with some Druid support. Once again, the Vombo combo between Alice Fire and Alice Wrath doing their magic. Oh my god, and the Wardens are picking off those units one by one. Really nice focus fire there. Oh, one of them will get away. Those three are so low, that's really aggravating. <laughs> but it's very easy to get clumped up in this game, especially when your units are so big and your base is so tight. He's not gonna make a uh, Magras Cup because it's just not affordable right now. Oh, look at all the magical damage. It's really hurting the Wardens. All of this stuff will just teleport out now. I don't think this outpost will get to upgrade at all. Victor is down to 48 population. What just happened? Did they lose that much stuff? I guess so. He lost all every single warden he had. Oh, that's an absolute disaster. Oh no. Could he just get pushed now? Wait a second. Rise 167 population again. How is he gonna stop this? I, I assume most of this is in the queue or something, but I mean that's just gonna keep going up. 185 now. It's very low in scrap as he's trying to upgrade units, but these bone axes are absolutely doing work. Look at that druid just dropping health like... Oh my god. I'm dropping health so fast. After all, he's level 7 against level 10. That's gonna contribute a lot to the overall spell power. If we're quickly gonna look at uh, Ra's spells here. Minus 30 resistance with every attack. All resistance is minus 30. And he's gotten the maximum brute force. So his attack power for regular attacks as well as for something like Plague Bolt is drastically increased here. Shrine of Growth tier 4. Not going to survive as he's got the uh, Infect Building Ability, which does 96 Siege Damage per second for 8 seconds. That is a lot. That is a lot of damage. And it reduces production speeds as well, if you were to target more of the production buildings. But yeah, all of these buildings are going to get smashed. And we've got a lot of smashers upgrading here. Bone Hexers are one of the target. Uh, you have to first make a Flesh Eater to turn them into that though. That's why there's two Hex Camps. One of them. Uh, these guys are in a queue to be turned into the Flesh Eaters. And then the Flesh Eaters are going to be turned into the uh, Bone Hexers. I gotta say, this is starting to be quite worrying. Uh, Shrine of Thorns here actually in the middle. It's probably a pretty good idea. You can also swap it to a Shrine of Growth again. Which uh, I think comes with more workers. Shrine of Thorns obviously a way better defensive building. Uh, than the Shrine of Growth. So that's the decision you gotta make with the Elves. Do you choose your economy or do you choose your sector defense? What other upgrades do we have on the way? Actually, just the ballistas. And it looks like uh, another upgrade has been completed, I think, for the Guardians. No, the Guardian upgrade is still here. Uh, the melee attack could hit multiple targets, but the melee attacks aren't that crazily strong. It's probably better to just focus your damage into, into the Wardens. Uh, I think it's added magical damage. That's where That's what the upgrade was. Have these guys been upgraded? I think not. No. What's happening here? 
All the iron mines are being demolished because the iron is gone. <laughs> oh man. There's a lot of Lenya now in the bank. Is he going to be able to afford to... Oh, I doubt it. I don't see how... A, a lot of iron will have to be harvested from the middle. So our Elven player might be on a bit of a timer here. Will definitely be important to get some Druids out again to keep this army alive for a longer time. Because remaking all of these iron units is going to be extremely difficult. 94 population, by the way, against full pop. That's 195 population. And, and once again, like even though they are sitting in the Vombo combo of our Elven player, they don't care anymore because they're that powerful. And they're starting to gather their uh, blood stacks, whatever it's called. Oh my god, they have a lot of ailments on them. <laughs> they're bleeding. They are taking the Ellen's fire. They're impaired. But, uh, yeah, the blood power is at three stacks. And, oh, Victor actually just resigns the game. We're not going to see Magua's Cup. Uh, yeah, Ra has taken the game at 195 population left. But a ton of resources in the bank. So could have made a lot more units as well. Should they have died. And just one thing I want to really quickly see here. What upgrades have been researched? Um, I'm pretty sure... The throwing camp has upgrades. It looks like some upgrades have been done for sure. Too bad we can't really tell. The hex camp does not have any upgrades left. I don't know the tech tree too well, unfortunately, yet. Uh, I, I have to play more with these guys. It, it does seem really fun. I, I did play like two games. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to more. Hopefully, we also get a... Uh, yes, this is exactly what I wanted to see some stats after the match. So 34 minute game And very interestingly Ra actually had a KD lead against freaking elves What is happening? <laughs> Although it's uh, wait well, okay, it's a, it's a little bit hard right to kill the troll units as well so I guess fair enough. It's really even though because the Elven tier 2 units, especially the Wardens, are just so good at single target damage. And getting 5 hero kills versus 1, it's just devastating. It puts you back so far. Every time you kill a hero, you can go and do other stuff such as creeping. Um, economy wise, this, this doesn't really tell a story because obviously the Orcs have... Uh, sorry, the, uh, the trolls have single worker buildings and a lot of them, whereas the elves are pretty efficient with their building to worker uh, ratio. Victor also has researched a lot of technologies, uh, even went up to tech level 3, but didn't really get to make many tech free units. And sector wise, it was pretty even, but resource wise, absolutely not. That troll economy, holy moly. Actually, surprisingly, the uh, the Druid dealt a lot more damage than the uh, Plaguebringer. But then the Plaguebringer... Oh my god, it got so much gold. It got so much more experience. Like, this is almost double. It's like 6... Uh, uh, what is this? Like, 70% more-ish? A lot more gold spent on the items as well. And we can just see that the army size is what really tells the story here. I believe this is population. Yep, this is population. Charge of 200. And Victor never really was able to catch up. He had a window of opportunity in these two spikes. Uh, this also wasn't too bad, but yeah. I, I feel like there weren't a whole lot of the basic units that could have helped a ton uh, to just you know soak some damage or just provide some extra fire. There was definitely availability for food and wood. So maybe that is something that could be added while the, uh, you know, iron resource is just not so abundant. Wow, that's a massive, massive difference. This this tool, uh, the post-game stats are just so valuable. As someone who's played a lot of Age of Mythology or Age of Empires, you know, this is just 
the bread and butter of understanding what happened in the game before even watching it and then after the replay you still get it is so useful having the replay itself is just extremely useful to um, to learn what you could have done better there were uh, a, a lot of small things that could be noticed but the game is I think very difficult to spectate especially to someone like me who's fairly new to everything and uh, you know tries to learn the units as well as the technologies and keep up with what the players are doing at the same time is a little much but anyway that's gonna be it for me hope you liked the cast and the video make sure to like if you did as it does help me out a lot and i will see you again the next time especially if you subscribe <laughs> join the discord find me on twitch all that stuff goodbye and take care